because of their position, attorneys are really restricted in what they can talk about and um, who they can speak with. So as when the attorney writes up the trust, he's working for the couple, the husband and the wife. And as soon as, uh, um, and, and by the way, there's a conflict of interest there as well, because if there's a divorce and they, they were both the grantors of the trust, now we have, uh, it's, it's uh, a, a challenge for the attorney to determine which one is his client because the a couple actually has to sign a conflict of interest form usually to hire an attorney. It's part of the paperwork they do when they did. And there's, and this has to be like this. You, you, the law is the law and, and the client and the attorney have to know who's the client and who's the attorney. So as they interact with the family, particularly after a spouse dies, the attorney is usually working with the trustee of the trust. That's their client. And the beneficiaries may have um, uh, issues that they want to take up with the attorney, but the attorney can't talk to the beneficiary because the attorney works for the trustee. And what we provide is the ability to interface with the beneficiaries and, and be that um, interpreter and communications link between the trustee, the attorney, the beneficiaries, and any other related parties that uh, really the attorney uh, can't help. So he would have to be very, uh, has a very narrow focus in his language and, and what what we bring to the table is the ability to, to talk to all parties and find out you know, what their interests are and then have these great discussions with the attorneys about what, what the trustee can and can't do.